Hey guys, what's up? It's Kev Concepts here, and I'm bringing you guys a video today after I asked maybe a few days ago on if I should make this video explaining the template a little more in depth and giving you guys some tips for making a banner for yourselves. So let's get right into this, and we have Photoshop. Photoshop program open. I've been getting a lot of questions asking if it works in Paint, stuff like that. It probably will work in Paint. Uh, you just open, you just need the dimensions for it. But I don't know about other programs, guys, but uh, GIMP will probably work as well. But it's a Photoshop file, so you have to work with the dimensions instead of the actual template itself. So let's get uh into explaining this a little more i've been getting a lot of questions with uh... Um, about this stuff on the side and the colors and stuff so basically when i remove these uh... we have desktop area which is this lighter shade of orange this desktop max basically is showing this rectangle area and it's basically saying that on a desktop or a PC, Mac, whatever, that this area is visible for those devices. And same with the tablet, this is the size, uh, the shaded area. That's basically the area where a tablet will be shown. Now keep in mind, uh, there are some laptops that are big as tablets or are slightly bigger than tablets. YouTube will read it as a tablet, I guess, and it will show up. Uh, only the tablet area so on like a smaller laptop it will cut off the desktop max areas and show the tablet areas only also with the logo safe area that's the darker normal shade of orange that is where everything is visible for every single device for desktop tablet and TV and for the TV I'll get into that in a little bit but for the logo safe area try keeping all your text and um, the main focus stuff in the logo safe area um, that area will be visible for everything and that is the main area for a cell phone like an iPhone or an Android stuff like that that's the main area that will be visible for those uh, cell phone devices um, so we have those figured out on layer one if you guys look at layer one it's the it's the lighting glow gray thing uh, the background basically that in parentheses I wrote the rest of the canvas is visible for a TV I know that could be a little bit confusing and some might understand it as well but basically it's saying that um, I'm trying to say that this whole area this whole area is visible for a TV so there's a lot of um, consoles that have a YouTube app or TVs can be connected to internet now like the Samsung smart TV or an Xbox or a PS3 or something those can all connect with YouTube now you can watch videos on it based so this whole area is visible to the TV so keep in mind guys when you're making your ba uh, banners don't just cut off the textures and the colors so that it shows up in the rectangle area only because this whole area is visible for a TV there are a lot of people that watch YouTube videos on TV so keep in mind that that is the whole area that is visible and don't just cut off the um, any textures or lighting and stuff just try to smooth it out make everything blend in with each other let uh, let everything blend in so that it looks nice I'm gonna be showing you guys some examples now that I've made uh, I don't have any speed arts up for them yet some of you guys might know um, one of them already I up I've uploaded so yeah here we have Reister on my gaming channel. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put it in the link in the description. Probably going to upload some videos on that later on. But yeah, so this is a perfect example of um, everything blending in. You see how there's a, uh, some strokes and stuff out there and some lighting and textures. Everything blends in with each other. There's no top and bottom black bar stuff. Uh, just cutting it out and leaving the middle part, rectangle part. Everything blends and smooths in. Um, so try to keep it like that. Also, uh, Swergy's background, I did make the rectangle middle thing, but it it would probably look weird if I brought in all those pictures on the side a little. So, But yeah, but still, I made all the colors blend in with each other and the lighting still blend. I didn't cut off anything and have a solid black bar. 
Also, with this one, it's another green one. This one is a good example of if you're putting in faded images. There's a Battlefield 3 image here, and there's a Minecraft image here on the uh, sides. Try blending them in and don't cut off the images. Everything blends nicely, and uh, um, you can see everything clearly, and it looks good like that. So those are some tips for you guys to do that. Uh, also, if you guys are um, going to make a background, what I suggest is delete everything here. So first, just make a new layout, new layer down here. Just press layer. It's like the second to last one. It should make a new layer right there, and it should be transparent. Um, as soon as you guys are making a background, uh, just delete all these layers and work with the guides. If you guys have guides and rulers off, go to view and then go to rulers. It should be checked marked. And um, if you go to show under extras, if you go to show, it should have guides check marked too. So if you guys don't have any of this showing, go to view, rulers, show, and then just click those and make sure it comes out. If you guys don't see this clearer enough, try getting a neutral color like gray and putting it in like that. And you can, you can see it more. And just try working within the rectangle, but as well trying to blend all the colors and images in with each other. So yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out a little more. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions and confusions on how to use the template, so I was just tempted on trying to help you guys more and making a video. Thank you guys for all the feedback you guys have been giving me on my videos and uh, um, you know asking more questions. I love helping people and helping this community out, especially with all the changes that YouTube has made. This community needs as much help as it needs, and you know I I've, I've been blessed with uh, with my channel growing as fast as it's been doing. And, you know, so thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. Be sure to like, comment anything that you guys want, some questions or whatever. And also, guys, this is important, and it's going to help you guys out so much. If you guys want some templates from me, I'll probably make three templates or something. A neutral one that anybody can use, a gaming one or a graphics design one or something simple and stuff like that. Put it in the comment, guys. Just say that, uh, can you please make some templates or something? Or I'll put a comment and you guys can like it. But I I would like to see if you guys would like to comment. That would be great. Um, that would be better, actually, if you guys comment so I can um, see as well. So, yeah. So, if you guys want the video with a few templates, it is going to take some time. Because it's going to make it's make me making, like, three um three videos so be sure to subscribe and know when that co that's coming out and check back once in a while as well it's not going to be set aside until a month or so I'll be working on them and trying to get them out as fast as I can for you guys to help out um, with those that are just not good with Photoshop and are still learning and stuff and um, can't really afford a background right now like that's customly made so yeah guys be sure to put that in the comments and also question put any questions that you guys have in the comments and i'll personally message you or respond to your message as well guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video please leave a like and subscribe if you guys uh, want to see future graphic design channels tutorials to help you guys out more and especially the template as well and check out my gr gaming channel there's no videos on it yet but you know it's a pretty nice background to look at you know i look at it all the time <laughs> so yeah Thank you guys for watching the video, and have a great and wonderful day. Peace.